Hi, my name is Kaylin Rod. I'm an LPN at Center for Living and Rehabilitation in Bennington, Vermont. And my presentation is on music therapy for patients with dementia and Alzheimer's disease. Our first slide is our guideline, which is our need is, is improvement in resident mood and behavior. Uh, there's an excessive use of medications, not enough brain stimulation, uh, project description, budget, conclusion, and any questions. The excessive medication use. A study published in the American Journal of Geriatric Psychiatry has found that music and memory therapy personalized to the person listening can improve symptoms of dementia and reduce the use of antipsychotic and anti-anxiety medication in people with the disease. Uh, as excessive medication use continued. The study found that music and memory therapy could replace psychoactive medication used to treat symptoms of dementia, which can have health risks. And these risks include um, decreasing their lifespan. Um, so we can give these people years back on their life by being able to decrease their medication. Uh, the need for brain stimulation. Music therapy has been known to assist with memory recall. Uh, it's been proven in research that the elderly listening to music, uh, can they can recall names, um, places, the lyrics to the songs, um, and, and this can help keep families together. I mean, uh, with dementia and Alzheimer's, you lose a lot of those of those memories and being able to have those with family are irreplaceable. Um, positive changes in mood or emotional state. Um, they're taking a lot of medication because they are depressed. Um, sundowning where the, you know, they start acting out more when the sun goes down. Um, but having, having music that can um, help people sleep, it can bring back a good memory. Um, so this can help help everyone, uh, staff included. Uh, a positive atmosphere, happier residents, happier staff. I mean, um, the two correlate. Residents are able to assist more in their own care. They're more willing and wanting to. They're not depressed. Um, they're able to listen to their favorite songs or, or brought back a, a memory of, of their wedding day or a childbirth or something that that's important to them um they're going to want to 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 maybe pick out their own shirt or um brush their teeth or you know just being active in their uh daily activities of life which um they have every day so it's 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 a good routine um our project description what is music therapy it's individualized music for patients. So by having an Apple Music subscription, um, you would be able to download as much music as you wanted. And that could be, you know, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s music, um, whatever the patient likes. If the patient isn't able to recall those to you, uh, you can talk to family, find those things out about them that they liked. Um, that can help really build a good um, music base for them so they have something to to connect with. Uh, residents' behavior and mood increase uh, positively. Um, absolutely. You will see an increase in their mood. Um, they're going to want to be proactive. They're going to want to be involved. I mean, the center does offer activities, but it's not for everybody. Some people are hard of hearing. Um, this could be hard when they have live music. You're not able to hear. Um, headphones help with that. Um, some people, you know, aren't able to actively participate in, in some of the more active games. So music is a good outlet for them. Um, residents' need for medication can be decreased. If they're happier, there's not as much need for um, antipsychotic medication that is uh, re related to uh, the uh, dementia and 
um, medications to help with their mood, that can all be um, decreased and, as I said before, increase their lifespan, increase their time with family, increase the amount of memories that they have over that time. Project description, how does it work? It will improve residents' life in the facility. Everyone will be happier. Um, we can have those moments. We have a resident now that loves listening to 80s music. And there's a lot of things she can't recall, but she can recall all those lyrics. And it makes her happy. There's, there's absolutely nothing like making your residents happy and knowing that you can bring back a good memory for them. Monthly surveys for family and staff will help show where residents are improving. So staff report every day. I mean, they, re they report new things, skin issues, behaviors. Um, but wouldn't it be such a great change to hear the, the, the positive sides of that, to, to, to see and hear that, that the music therapy is working and improving. And this would go for staff and family. So uh, we would have our staff fill out uh, monthly surveys and families would be sent monthly surveys to fill out um, who's been visiting, talking to their family members and and see the positive changes. So you can actually document the positive changes that we're having. Uh, doctors and nurses will continue to communicate on patients' improvements and possible decrease in medication. Again, um, it, it starts all the way, you know, every piece of the puzzle. Um, doctors, nurses, LNAs, activity staff, dining staff, um, therapy staff, everybody working together. We're all working with those people. We can all make reports on improvements that we're seeing in these people. Um, how they're eating. Their eating could be improving because they were depressed and they didn't feel like eating. And now they do. I mean, there's so many positive things to music therapy. Uh, what we need. Uh, what we need would be iPod shuffles and some headphones uh, and an Apple Music subscription. So those would be the three things that we would need to um, get this project running. What problems are we solving? Well, negative mood. Uh, that can affect everybody. That is, affects the residents and it affects the staff. I, um, negative mood verbal abuse, physical abuse, um, these, these things happen. Uh, we'd like to, de to decrease that. Um, a difficult environment for residents and staff and money loss on excess medication use. We don't need to medicate these people as much. Um, we can do more with them, um, have better visits with family, um, be able to have better relationships with these residents um, instead of just just uh, medicating them so our budget so these are for brand new iPod shuffles um, at $189.99 a piece uh, plus tax for 50 iPod shuffles is around 10 that is ten thousand sixty nine dollars and fifty cents and that includes tax um, 100 bulk headphones just basic headphones we already have in stock is $159 um, the monthly Apple subscription with tax is fifteen eighty nine, uh, so the total is ten thousand two hundred forty four dollars and thirty nine cents, with a continual monthly fee of eighteen or fifteen eighty nine for the Apple subscription. We will be able to make improvements in our residents' lives. We can improve staff environment. Uh, staff get worn out too. I mean. Oh residents and staff um uh, both it it's taxing on everybody uh keep staff informed and involved letting them know to 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 keep you up to date on what's going on um making sure they're involved in in music maybe they know or you know saw something or they said something to them that about a type of music that they liked or you know a song that they liked that that would be that would be good that would be be great for us um, again the monthly surveys allow for continued improvements we can see what's working what's not um, and improve on that nurse and doctors communicate and see about medication changes or decreases 
This is saving everybody all around. This is saving um, on insurance costs. This is saving people's lives, extra years on their lives um, that they can't afford to lose. Uh, these are my references and any questions you may have. Um, if not now, feel free to reach out to me at a convenient time. Thank you.